from shopsidepage.com and today we're going to do a not so massive tech unboxing episode 2. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so if you see anything you like in this video, I'll have it listed down below so you can check it out. Um, before we start, I would just like to promote my website, shopsidepage.com. Aside from making videos here on YouTube, I also post um, written reviews uh, with complete details on my blog, as well as some um, tutorials and tips and tricks. With that out of the way, let's proceed on the unboxing. Let's start with this plastic bag. This is the large mouse pad that I got to replace my tiny Fantech extended mouse pad. There's not much other than this. Which is nice. Alright, so it's actually pretty huge and the edges are stitched so that's appreciated. The logo Steel Series and Dota 2 and Valve are pretty nice quality. And the texture feels decent enough. For the size, it will fit uh, both my keyboard here regardless if it's just a 10 keyless or a full size keyboard and a mouse. By the way guys, I would just like to give a shout out to the Philippine gaming community for giving me suggestions on what um, budget gaming peripherals they actually want me to review. So one of their suggestions is from Rack PH. So I got a Rack Gaming headset here. So this is the Rack Gina Illuminated Gaming Headset. At first glance, it actually looks um, bulky, but the padding on the ear cups are pretty soft, and as it's actually huge, I think it will fit my um, head. Let me try it. It's actually comfortable and very light, even if it's bulky. As you can see, the headband can stretch pretty well. The cables are braided. We have here a 3.5mm jack for um, input and output, and as well as the USB to power the uh, illumination of this headset. So I'm excited to um, make a full review about this guys. I'm going to test the um, sound quality as well as the microphone quality and of course for gaming. Next item we have here is from Logitech. Shout out to Gaming Laptop Pinas for um, allowing me to post my reviews on their group and I ordered this specifically for them because Everyone needs a, a decent pair of speakers for their laptop. The packaging is actually nice and it was delivered on time as well. Okay, so we have here the Logitech Z120 2.1 compact stereo speakers. So I got it because of the actually the aesthetics, the colorway of the black and white, which is very appealing for me. So we have the box and some manual and of course the 2.1 speakers itself. Alright, so this is actually powered by a USB port and we have the 3.5mm uh, jack here. I'm not gonna lie guys, this looks pretty nice and I think it will fit my desk quite well. It has a volume knob here that doubles as a power switch. And that's pretty much it. It has the cable management at the back on both speakers. So managing your cables with this will not be a problem. So I'm also excited to make a full review on these guys. Again, this is the Logitech Z120 um, speakers. Next item we have here is from Red Dragon, one of the suggested brands from the Philippine gaming community as well. I always listen to you guys, don't worry. So this is another wireless gaming mouse time from Red Dragon. This is the Red Dragon Mirage M690. Okay, according to the box, it has 4,800 dpi, 8 buttons, infrared engine, 15 meter range, and a powerful driver. It comes with a manual and I think I feel a compact disc here for the drivers, which is very well appreciated. But you can always download the drivers on the official website as well. The packaging is actually nice and the mask looks pretty decent. We're going to take a look at that shortly. It has on the fly DPI adjustment, grip and hand scroll wheel, rapid fire button, and the backlight can be turned off and on, which is nice. And two programmable thumb buttons and a gaming switch button. Alright, so let's see the actual mount itself. 
here's the um, wireless dongle or wireless receiver. At first glance, it actually looks good. And I appreciate the rubber uh, matte finish here. The buttons are actually nice to press. And there's no much resistance when it comes to the movement. On the bottom, we have the on and off switch and the eco mode. And a battery compartment right here. We have here the game button as mentioned on the box. As well as the forward and back button. I think this is the DPI settings button and then the scroll wheel. And on the back side, just uh, for the grip. Alright? So next item we have is from Transmart. This is actually a micro USB charging cable that my wife got. Um, I highly recommend this cable guys because this is a high quality cable. Um, this is a 3 cable pack. As you can see the cable is actually pretty thick and it's gold plated. This high quality charging cable and we didn't encounter any issues with it. So last but not the least, we have a super cheap mechanical keyboard that I can find on Lazada right now. This is the GigaWare K28 mechanical keyboard. I know guys that you requested to review some um, mechanical keyboards from Techware, Red Dragon, but that's out of the budget right now. So let's uh, let's settle with this one first. So I think this is an OEM keyboard, and there's no actually there's actually no Gigaware branding anywhere here. It says to me here that it's a mechanical keyboard, 87 key, and that's about it. So let's see what's inside. This actually has a blue switch. I think this is a clone blue switch, if I'm not mistaken. The packaging is actually pretty nice as well. We have here the keyboard. Let's place it aside for the meantime. And it comes with a uh, wrist stress, which is very well appreciated at this price point. And it also comes with a keycap cooler. So we have here the uh, paperwork and the user guide it states here the different modes and um, different bike lighting as well as how to reset the factor settings. Pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at the keyboard itself. So again, this has a blue switch. So I'm expecting that this, the keys are actually um, going to be loud. Let's do a quick typing test before anything else. As expected, it's actually nice and loud. The switch are very tactile and very satisfying to me. In terms of the design and construction, I actually like it except for the glossy finish on the top back plating here. As you can see, it's very glossy. I appreciate the fact that this is a 10 keyless, so this will be this will going to be a space saver on any desk setup. So it does have a braided cable here, which is again nice uh, for this price point. So at the back we have this nice um, rubber feet on both sides of course and two rubber feet on the bottom. So there is stress attached here at the bottom. It actually helps um, elevate your palm so that when you type on the keyboard, it's very ergonomic. So just to sum it up guys, we have the GigaWare K28 keyboard here. We have the Mirage M690 wireless mouse here. And of course, the RAM Gina illuminated gaming headset here. As well as a pair of speakers from Logitech, the Z120, and a Trustmark cable. As well as the large extended mouse pie right here. So that's it guys, if you see anything you like in this video, again, I'll put the links in the description below so you can check it out. If you like this, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to support my channel. Thank you for watching, have a great day. See you next time.